Good day, Curtis. My framing's a little off, isn't it? Today is a good day. I just got new fans for my computer and they are quiet. There's a lot of boring stuff on the reason why they're quiet, but they are this quiet. Anyway, yesterday you explained the whole premise of Batman vs Superman and how they didn't really reveal a lot. And I came to a conclusion. I like the fact that they did not reveal too much about the film. That's what trailers are supposed to be like. They're not supposed to ruin the whole film. They're just supposed to introduce the characters which are going to be in the film and that's about it. And this is a teaser as well, so this should actually be less informative and it was as informative as it needed to be. It showed a bit of the backstory on why this film exists, but it showed nothing else apart from that. And it made me realise there are a lot of bad trailers out there, and there are two types of bad trailers. There is the kind of bad trailer which shows all of the glamour shots of the film, um, which leaves you bored when you watch the film because you've seen all the good shots and you're left with all the crappy ones, also known as Transformers. And then there are the trailers, which last longer than every other trailer because they reveal every single plot twist and plot development which goes off in the film, leaving you knowing exactly what happens when you go into the film. This is also known as Unfriended. Speaking of films, I watched the final part of The Hobbit and it was amazing. I loved every second of it. If you're wondering whether you should go watch it on Blu-ray or DVD, there is a whole part of it where Billy Connolly is riding a ball. I needn't say more. Anyway, back to answering your question about what film I'm looking forward to the most, which is going to come out this year. And there are a few films which have piqued my interest this year. Um, for example, as you said, Age of Ultron comes out on Thursday, which is really close. And I do want to see that. Also, John Green's Paper Towns book has been made into a film and that should be released this year, I think. Although I am intrigued by this movie because the Fault in Our Stars movie was apparently really good. I haven't watched that either. Oh, and they're remaking The Jungle Book, um, if you didn't know. Uh, but that's going to come out next year, so... However, there is one movie which I really want to see out of... It is pure just interest, but it's more interest than I have for Paper Towns and more excitement than I have for Age of Ultron. This film is Jurassic World, purely because I want to see what they've done with it. I want to see whether they are milking dead cow, because let's be honest, the sequels to Jurassic Park were not that good in my humble opinion. So I'm just really curious to see what they've gone ahead and done with it. Um, yeah. And as you are seeing Age of Ultron in two days time, I want to ask you, Curtis, tell me your favourite Marvel character in the whole of the Marvel Universe. My personal favourite is Deadpool, just because he's just such a satire character. Uh, DFTBA, I'll see you tomorrow.